Hi, I'm Paul Kilgan from GK Tuition, and in this video I want to talk to you about probability. Now, the question I've chosen to go through here is 2019 Paper 2, Question 1. In the first part of this question, we're given the age and years of 28 employees in a company, and we're asked to complete a stem and leaf graph to fill in all of their ages. So you should notice that they've mentioned the key here, like for example, if you have a 1 and then a 9, that refers to 19. So for example, one and then nine, that's 19. The three youngest employees in this workplace were 18, 18, and 19. So therefore, if I've got one eight, one eight, and one nine, that refers to the 18 year olds and the 19 year olds. I just want you to point out to you that there's a mistake in the marking scheme there. In the marking scheme, they have eight, nine, nine, when they should have eight, eight, nine. So just be aware of that. The next one, there's a 20 year old, so that's two zero. There's also a 21 year old, so that's the one. There's another 21 year old, so that's here. And then there's a 22 year old indicated here. So basically you just need to fill in all of those. It's relatively straightforward, but it is quite easy to make a mistake because it's mundane enough just filling in the numbers. And always make sure that the numbers are in increasing order. Like two, three, three, four, four, five, nine has to be in that order. I have to start with the smallest and go to the biggest. In part B, we're asked to find the percentage of employees who are older than 40 years of age. So that just means I need to basically add them up and figure out how many are over 40. So if all, obviously anyone in the first three columns is under the age of 40, anyone in the last three columns is over the age of 40. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 people in this, in this company who are over 40 years of age. So to get that as a percentage, it's 14 over the total amount of employees. We know the total amount of employees is 28. So 14 out of 28 of them are over the age of 40. And to turn this into a percentage, we need to multiply by 100 over one. 14 over 28 multiplied by 100 over one tells me that 50% of the employees in this company are over the age of 40. Okay, in part C, we're told that in a certain day, all of the employees are at work. And that if an employee is chosen at random, what is the probability that the employee chosen is a teenager? And a teenager is referred to as anyone under the age of 20. So you need to realize that there are one, two, three teenagers in this company. So if I was to randomly select one person from this group, the probability that I select a teenager would be just three over 28. There's 28 employees in total, and three of them are teenagers, so my probability is just that. In the final part of this question, we're asked to work out the probability that if we randomly select one of these people, that they're either in their 30s and their age is even, or they're in their 40s and their age is odd. So let's just count them up. 30s, anyone in their 30s who's even, this one is 32, this person is 34, and this person is 34. They're the only employees that are in their 30s and their age is even. If we then, we also need the employees who are in their 40s and their age is odd. In their 40s and their age is odd, well, this guy is 41, this person is 43, this person is 43, and this person is 49. So that means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who fit my criteria. So the probability that I would pick one of these seven people is seven over 28. There's seven people that fit my criteria out of a total of 28. But you need to realize that this can be simplified down. Seven over 28 is the same as one quarter. If you weren't 100% sure on that, always plug fractions into your calculator because your calculator will give it to you in its simplest form. So one quarter is the final answer for that part of the question. Now I hope all of that makes sense. If there's anything you're unsure of there or you'd like me to clarify something, just let me know in class or send me an email and I'll explain it differently.